So John Stewart spoke to uh, FTC Chair Lena Khan, and uh, he revealed something that's kind of a big deal here. Now, I should point out, Lena Khan is uh, honestly one of the best in our government right now, actually looking out for the people, really enforcing antitrust. She's right up there with the NLRB in terms of her positive impact for regular people with how she's doing. Um, so she's a heavy hitter, man. And I recommend go watch the entire interview. It's on YouTube. You'll see what she's working on, why it's important. I think Jon Stewart asked great questions. There's a big moment in the interview that everybody's talking about. Watch this. It's already being consolidated. Apple has bought 30 AI models. Microsoft has probably bought. Google has bought. They all buy AI startups and put them behind their paywall. And they're already having an arms race to see who will be either the monopoly or this will be an oligopoly. I got to tell you, I wanted to have you on a podcast. And Apple asked us not to do it, to have you. They, they literally said, please don't talk to her. Having nothing to do with what you do for a living. I think they just... Uh, uh. I didn't think they cared for you, is what happened. <laughs> they, they, wouldn't, they, didn't, they wouldn't let us do even that dumb thing we just did in the first act on AI. Like, what is that sensitivity? Why are they so afraid to even have these conversations out in the public sphere? I think it just shows one of the dangers of what happens when you concentrate so much power and so much decision making in a small number of companies. I mean, going back all the way to the founding, there was a recognition that in the same way that you need the Constitution to create checks and balances in our political sphere, right. you also needed the antitrust and anti-monopoly laws to safeguard against concentration of economic power because you don't want an autocrat of trade in the same way that you don't want a monarch. But then it took them, I mean, it wasn't until the Sherman Act in what, 1890 something? So again, go watch the whole interview. But, I mean, what he's saying there in no uncertain terms is that Apple censored him, censored his show, censored his podcast. Remember, he was doing that show with Apple for a while. And, I, you know, he was doing a great job. There was a lot of hard-hitting interviews that uh, he had on there. But the second he wanted to bring somebody on who really threatened their power, they pulled the rug out from underneath him. And now you know, this is why he left Apple. Because he felt like they actually are censorious. They actually are. They're not really letting me do the show as I want to do it. And um, so he went back to Comedy Central. Apparently, in Jon Stewart's view, Comedy Central is uh, much less restrictive in terms of who he can bring on. But that's a big deal. And also, by the way, what that shows you is that Lena Khan terrifies them. Terrifies these mega corporations that are effectively monopolies or part of oligopolies. And uh, more perfect union goes on to say here, in its lawsuit against Apple's monopolist practices, the Department of Justice Antitrust Division explains that the $3 trillion company uses its power and control over content to limit artistic expression. These subscription services can also increase Apple's power over content creators and newspapers, among others, by exerting control over how audiences access their work, decreasing traffic to their website and apps, and positioning Apple as the middleman or toll booth operator in the relationship between creators and users. In doing so, Apple takes on outsized importance and control in the creative economy, which may diminish incentives to fund, make, and distribute artistic expression. Apple's conduct extends beyond just monopoly profits, and it even affects the flow of speech. For example, Apple is rapidly expanding its role as a TV and movie producer and has exercised that role to control content. So they're scared shitless of Lena Khan. By the way, the Wall Street Journal, the opinion page, has a new like Lena Khan hit piece every other day. Why? Because she's actually doing her job. She's cracking down on monopolies. She's doing antitrust enforcement. Again, she's one of the, the best parts of, of this government right now. And um, they know that. They know she actually threatens power. But And by the way, you go back and watch it again. Look at the, like, the look on Lena Khan's face. It's almost like she's smirking as she's being told, like, Apple's fucking terrified of you. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. And credit to Jon Stewart for, uh, for saying this. A lot of people who are in the business would sort of... You know, they don't want to piss off a former employer, make it look like, oh, they're unreasonable. Question, put into question future potential prospects and jobs. But he's like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to just come out and tell everybody what's going on. Apple censored me. They censored me because I wanted to have somebody on who questions their power, threatens their power, wants to hold them accountable, wants to make it so that they're not, uh, they have limits to what they can and can't do. And this is the problem, right? We live, we do live in the, the era of, the monopoly or the oligarchy or oligopoly, I should say, where it's like you either have one massive corporation that's in charge of a given industry, or you have a few, but they're kind of colluding. They kind of can keep 
the prices high. They they broadly agree to keep the prices high. Uh, quality diminishes, price goes up, and this is the problem. This is why you know there there's a there's a left wing argument for small businesses. You don't want these mega corporations. You want small businesses that can compete, and you get uh, better prices and better quality. You want you want to ensure a fair competition, right? And uh, suffice to say, the Googles, the Apples, the Microsofts, the, you, you know, you could do this in every industry, right? Pick out the big players. They don't want that. They don't want that. And they're even getting to the point where they're trying to control speech. So that's ugly, but John Stewart's blowing the whistle. And uh, now you know who's on your side, Lena Khan. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.